Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that a lot of you have been asking about, the best Linux distros for daily use. Whether you're a beginner or someone looking to switch things up, there's something here for everyone. So let's get started. First up, we have Linux Mint. If you're new to Linux, Mint is a fantastic starting point. Its desktop environment, Cinnamon, is super user-friendly and quite similar to Windows, making the transition smoother for newcomers. Mint is based on Ubuntu, which means you get great stability and support. Plus, it's perfect for everyday tasks and even some gaming. One of the things I love about Linux Mint is its focus on system stability. New versions come out every six months, and they are usually rock solid. And if you're not a fan of Cinnamon, you can try out Mate or XFCE, which are also officially supported. Mint uses fewer system resources compared to Genome, making it ideal for older hardware too. Oh, and Mint supports flat packs instead of snaps, giving you a more streamlined experience. Overall, it's a great choice for beginners because everything just works right out of the box. Next, let's talk about Pop! OS by System76. Originally designed with STEM professionals in mind, this distro comes with NVIDIA drivers pre-installed, which is a huge plus for gamers. It's based on Ubuntu and uses the Cosmic Desktop Environment, a cleaner and more intuitive version of Genome. Pop! OS is excellent for creators and gamers alike. It's got some cool features like keyboard shortcuts that make navigation a breeze. And System76 is taking things up a notch by recoding Cosmic and Rust, promising a faster and smoother experience soon. So, if you're looking for a Linux distro that's both powerful and user-friendly, Pop! OS is definitely worth a try. Moving on, we have Fedora. Often considered the cutting-edge distro, Fedora is an upstream version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It uses the RPM package manager and supports flat packs and app images, but what really sets it apart is its near-stock Genome experience. Fedora is usually one of the first distros to adopt the latest Genome updates, making it a favorite among those who like to stay on the cutting edge. However, it's a bit resource-heavy, so you'll need at least 8 GB of RAM and a decent CPU GPU to run it smoothly. With one of the most active communities out there, you'll always find help if something goes wrong. Fedora is great for users who are a bit more familiar with Linux. Next up is OpenSUSE. This distro is incredibly versatile with two main versions. Leap, a stable release with long-term support, and Tumbleweed, a rolling release with the latest software updates. OpenSUSE is known for its powerful system management tools, especially YAST, which makes configuration and administration a breeze. It also supports advanced features like the BTRFS file system and automated snapshots, which enhance system reliability. Whether you need a stable environment for professional use or cutting-edge software for development, OpenSUSE has got you covered. Lastly, let's talk about Zorin OS. If you're coming from Windows, Zorin OS is designed to make you feel right at home. It's based on Ubuntu, but offers a completely revamped user experience. Zorin OS has a clean and polished interface that's easy to navigate. There's also a light version for older hardware, and the documentation is top-notch for beginners. Zorin even offers a pro version with additional features, but the free version is already pretty impressive. Overall, Zorin OS provides a familiar and smooth transition for ex-Windows users while offering the robustness of Linux. So there you have it, five of the best Linux distros for daily use. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, there's something here for everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.